All right. Pond number three today. Heck yeah. Big shout out to the Phillips family for letting me come out and fish uh, late in the evening. So we're going to try to throw the chopper real quick, see if we can't get any blow ups. This pond's actually pretty shallow. It's not real big. It's more or less kind of like a section of a creek, really. It's not real big at all, but there's a lot of bass in here. A lot of small bass. Yeah, because, wow. Typically when the sun's out, you can see to the bottom out here in the middle. I've had my kayak out in here too. So like over there, it'd be the deepest, but even then it's not, it's probably 10 foot deep maybe, at the most, if that. If the water's down, it's probably like eight foot, nine foot. Up. That big one, Mickey Todd? Yeah. He actually caught it over there on the other side of that bench. Yeah, that they're. Even the water's still a little bit warm. They'll prob they're probably a little deeper, but. What do you catch it on? Uh, a little. Just a little worm. Like thing like this. Yeah. A little worm. Thing like this. Alright. Bitsy jig crawl trailer. There he is. Not big, but still fun to catch. Did he keep any of them fish he caught? Um, 
Nice. I'm gonna move down a little bit to some deeper stuff. Gonna be hanging out where the structure is. Very nice. Oh yeah. These bass are super aggressive in this pond. He choked that one. I right, got that one deep. Mm. 
The fish aren't huge here, but they're still extremely fun to catch. Where is it at? God, he's got such a small mouth. off the jig head but it's whatever he's a little bitty guy oh yeah what is that three three already No. Ah, uh, there goes that jig. It is gone. Forever. And ever. I don't know what happened there, but. Yeah, well, I lost my lure. for my own stuff here. What color do I want to throw? Yeah. Let's just put one of these on. These are not mine. These are the Christy Crawls. I like using them. When my stash is running low, but... Whoops. Take me forever to get this on. Uh, let's tear that off. It's just a little chunk. Not a big deal. I ain't worried about it. Whatever. It's just plastic. It'll work. There we go. I had a black and blue one tied on trailer, but we're gonna try this one. I'm not even sure if the color really mattered. I think it's the action for these guys.
Boom. Oh, crap. Oops. I need to work my way around and go fish that structure over there. A bunch of trees down over there. There's trees down right here too, but... Seems like over there on the far right, kind of that pocket just holds them. Kind of always seem like they're right there in that area. Man, it is a nice evening, I'll tell you that. It's real cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the heck? What is that? You get one? Yeah, nice. There you go. I'm about to break off again and have to retire. This is the old black and blue chatter on there with the white trailer. The one we caught that chunk on this morning. We'll probably do pretty good on this. Let's try it. Anybody has a better way of tying braid, let me know. Cause uh I've been tying it like this for a hot minute. The old slip knot. It's like the forbidden. Oh my god, don't do it like that. That's forbidden. I can't even tie this because this this line is junk right here.
There you go. Might be. It'll be all right. I guess we'll just leave this tackle box open because I'm bound to break again. That was the same one. Nice. It had a red spot on his belly. Yeah. They're definitely in the deeper part. Yeah. Every time I cast out low far, that's when I There's a fish on that. He was swimming at me. A little ski boat. A little ski boat. The tiniest bass I've ever seen in my life. The one you caught? Right now, yeah. Look how tiny it is. That's not that one staying out. Just a little juvenile or something? Well, he's about that size. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Charlie Mac. I can yeah. get a bunch of the smaller ones anyway. I'll, uh, I'll come back there. Yeah. I've got a chatterbait on. The three eighths. Three. I, I was using that for a little bit after you showed me the. Oh, I'm picking up the top of it. Yeah, you're, you're probably thinking of the top water trapo. I've got one tied on over there on my orange rod. But I've been using this uh, chatterbait. It had a, well, part of it's still there. The tail's gone. But it had a paddle tail, like, swimmer trailer on it. But it's got a big blade on it, so it thumps a bunch, too. And I can get it, to, like, to sink, get a little deeper. Slow retrieve, so it really thumps on that blade. Makes a lot of like clacking sounds, thumping, thumping vibrations. The two ponds that I fished at today are like eight to ten inches low. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Fish? Huh, what the heck?
Yeah, the water's getting calm enough. I'll, pro I'll probably try top water just to see. Get any good hits. Yeah, it seems like they're either kind of deep or they're just around structure. So we are on the other side of the pond, around some structure. Probably gonna get some crazy hits over here. Should probably throw something weedless because I'm gonna get hung up. I know for a fact. Something right there. Oh, fuck, I'm missing. Nope, nope, he's still chasing. No. Nope. I thought for sure he was gonna come back for it. That's what it felt like. Alright. Oh my god, how did I do that? Oh! There we go. There we go. There we go. Please don't go under that log. Please don't go under that log. Please don't go under that log. Here we go. Here we go. He is not bad. He ain't bad for this pond. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Hey, he ain't bad. He's, uh, it's a lot better for this pond. He's got a big crazy gash on his back. Probably from a snapping turtle. Or something. Yeah, that was a... I thought for sure he was going to get wrapped up under these logs over here. Yeah. And we was going to have a complete replay of what happened last time. <laughs> yeah, he ain't bad for this pond. That's definitely been the nicest fish that, that I've caught out here today. That ain't bad. Very nice. Very nice. Cool clump. Belly flop. <sighs> structure, man. Bass love structure. Bass love black and blue. Chatterbaits, too. Ooh. Oh, God dang it, dude. It is the worst spot to be thrown, but it's the best spot to be thrown to. I'm probably going to end up losing this. Yeah, just keep throwing it in the same spot. Fish have I caught? That's oh, over here in La La Land. Just missed one. Ooh, there's another one I missed. It could have been the same one. It could have been coming back for it. Ooh, oh man! Can you see that? He darted. That was cool. He was sitting right there, the sitting right there the whole time. He darted it, and I missed the hookup. Or he missed the hook. One of us missed it. So what? That was three hits in one cast that I missed? Maybe it's me. Maybe I just need to hang her up for the evening. I think I've caught eight, seven or eight bass, I think. Makes sense. 
dragging it through mine. Yeah, let's gamble. Let's go way down there. <laughs> uh, oh, is he on? Is he still on? Is he still on? No, he's not on. Oh shit. Uh. Oh my god, I threw it right in the brush pile. Oh. 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 Oh, dang it. I don't know if that was a fish or a limb or something. Dude, something's hanging right there. Nope. Ooh. Water over here. There's a bunch of trees. I could just be bumping stuff and it's just in my head that I'm, some of them are hit, some of them are not. That right there was a hit. He drug it for a second, <laughs> god dang it. Or he's just super, super small. I mean, you never know, all these bass in here, they're just extremely small. I came here on like a weekend before Father's Day weekend and caught like 15 or 18 fish. And I know they've had a couple people come out and take some, but it's just, it's a small pond anyways, like over in this corner all the way to like here. I mean, it's super shallow. Like it's maybe to your belly, you know, three, four feet, five feet. And once you get out here, it gets a little deeper, but this is a very shallow pond in the first place. And with the water being extremely low, it's probably another foot but it's still fun to catch these small bass man they they put up a nice little fight and they're hard hitting but what was that that was mud that was grass or mud or something that was weird hmm. let's uh let's try some top water eh top water huh Chapo? Huh? Oh, Chapo. Oh, yeah. The black Chapo. Can't go wrong with this color. I've caught so many fish on the black Chapo. <clears throat> Let's get right down here in the mud with my good boots on. Well, I already see one thing being an issue. It's all the leaves in this pond right now. There's not like any like moss on it right now, but there's definitely a lot of leaves and stuff. grass sometimes if if you let them sit for a second they'll they'll look at it and tag it I've definitely learned that with the chopper. If they miss it, you don't always have to crank the bait back to you and cast again. You can let it set like this and give it a couple of those. And for me, I found out that they come back and tag it again. I'm trying to get it over top of this structure. 
and then have to fight a bass because he swam down in the bush and uh, got wrapped up. Whatever. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Do it for the YouTube. Do it for the vlog, dude. Do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlogs. Mm. Something tell me that they are just not hitting right there. They're probably watching it swim over top of them, but they are not hitting it. They know. Say, so, oh man, that's JB Outdoors. Don't want to mess with him. He's a bad dude. He's already caught everybody else. He ain't catching me. Come on. I'm like trying to navigate it through some of these leaves. Because it does that right there. It just gets tangled up. And... <sighs> what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What is that? That's good for it. I'll probably start working my way back over to the other side of the pond. Boom! That was nice! Very nice! Heck yeah. He said, I want that Chapo. He said, I want that El Chapo. That's another good thing I like about the Chapos, man. They got both of those razor sharp Berkeley Fusion hooks in them. The fish ain't going nowhere, dude. He might think he's going somewhere, but he ain't. Don't do it. Whoo. There we go. Pretty sure I just threw him face first into, <laughs> into that log. Oops. That was a good little hookup. Ooh. How about her backlash right there? Uh oh. I hear Air Force One coming in from landing. Alright, let's start working our way around. That was an awesome topwater hit. Small bass, little bass. They all excite me, man. I just, I love bass fishing. See, all the, that grass that sits on top of the water. That messes up the chopo too. Causes it to spin kind of funny, so. I'll watch out for that stuff. Ooh. I said I was only going to walk around that bush and work my way back around, but it looks like I've already worked my way halfway around the freaking pond. I got this big tree that's falling down. Might as well try to throw in front of it, see if there's anything. I don't know what's going to do in this sludge right here. It might cut. Well, cut through it pretty good. I hit like a leaf or something there at the end. Oh! Dang! I missed him. Dang. That looked like a pretty good little hookup, too. Let's try it again. He, he was full sin, dude. He was full commitment on that chopo. God dang it, dude. There you swipe it again. He 
He likes the Chapo. He likes that action. That action was not the Chapo action. It was actually like kind of tangled up. Third try is the charm. Think he's gonna hit it third try? Play some bets right now. Bets are still alive for the bank bass to hit the chopper. Mm. Oh well. Felt like that would have been. Here's a decent little bass for this pond. Let's get closer up to the bank where the structure is. Spooked a couple fish out of it, so they're probably out here. Wondering who the fuck I am and why I'm here. God dang it, dude, I keep hitting. Keep hitting fucking leaves and stuff. I think they're chopped out. No hits, I'm moving. No hits. Honestly, I'm kind of happy that they haven't cut this out yet. It might look ugly, but when the water's up, it'll be good for the fish. And you know another thing? I have not seen a crappie here or a bluegill here. There is one big giant carp. I did see it, but I haven't seen anything other than bass. And I don't know how I feel about that. Just goes to show, man, once bass take over ponds, it's kind of hard to recoup from that. Let's get right here in this little pocket. See if there's anything hanging out. Right in front of the tree. Bingo. God dang it, I hit another leaf. Get off here. Get. Get over here. All in all, I mean, I caught one big fish for the day and this morning, and I've caught a bunch of small fish this evening. I'm happy with that. I think in all, I've definitely caught, I think, 10. Like the eight that I've caught tonight. And the two I caught from this morning, I think I'm definitely double digits right now. Hmm, there ain't no bass over here. There ain't no fish in this morning. Now, a lot of guys, you know, the Chapo's pretty sweet. I mean, I have some legitimate whopper ploppers. Like the name brand whopper ploppers well not the name brand i think they're fish 2c whopper ploppers i think but this is this black one's actually the only 
Berkeley Chapo that I've had. And I fish with it more than anything. Let's make our way back over here. Do some more top water and we'll probably call it a night. It's getting pretty dark. Not anymore? Nice. Oh yeah. Is that bush is that bush still over there? That we seen? Yeah. A nesting bush. Yeah. Yeah, I had a couple swipes over there right on the bank. I missed both of them. Hmm. I might need to work over there, maybe. I don't know. Because I was just over here. Oh, man, I think I went too far on that one. Hmm. Ah. Send it way down there. See what happens. Hmm. Over here by the old duck. By the old duck. Yo, duck. What up, duck? Ronald. Ronald Duck. Is that his name? Hell, I don't know. Well, they might be shutting off for the evening, I don't know. And they just don't like the chopo. Could be too much presentation from small fish. Or smaller fish, I guess. I don't know. Good time, probably like a booyah frog. Something. A little popping frog. Alright, there was no land, I figured. Hmm. Couple more fish. Couple more. These fish might be small in this pond, but I still think they're fun to catch. 
I mean, catching one giant one is fun. Don't get me wrong, but catching 10, 15 small ones is fun too, in my opinion. Come on, dude, what the heck? I thought for sure they'd smack. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder if the old chatter made him stir it up. small fish that was a very small plop at it I think I got into a freaking wave or something Should hit that right there. It's right over there in that pocket. Nothing. What the heck? I don't know. There could be a bass trail on that thing. Thinking about it. Now. Try it again. Thank you. 